Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, in this video, I'm just going to discuss about C programming pertaining to an array wherein we just need to sort out a specific array. So, let's say for example, our we need a solution regarding sorting algorithm. So, this is this is the one that I'm going to discuss today. So, on your right side, you can see here in this Excel file, there is a, an array which is composed of seven elements. The elements contains the numbers from 6 to 0, so element 0 contains 6 and element 6 contains 0. We just need to sort this one out from uh, the minimum to maximum. Currently, it's sorted from maximum to minimum. I have here on the left the C code just to do that. So the algorithm is just like this. You have here the iterations and each iteration we move the value of of the inside this element from their sp their sp their required position. For example, if 6 is greater than 5, then 6 will just need to go to the right and the smaller values just need to go to the left. So just that, that is how this algorithm works. So on the first iteration here so we just need to compare the first element zero element to the next element which is which is the first element so element zero and element one so element element zero contains six and element one contains five so since it's greater than six element zero six is greater than five so six should go to element one so we just need to put six here and five will be on element zero Next, we compare this element 1 with element 2. So we just need to compare from left to right. So element six, element 1 contains 6 and element 2 contains 4. So 6 needs to be on element 2 and 4 needs to be on element 1. Next, we compare 6 and 3. So this one will be 3 and this one will be 6. Next, we, com we compare 6 and 2. So this will be 2 and this will be 6. Next, this will be 1 and this will be 6. And the last one, this will be 0 and this will be 6. Because we, we comp if we compare 6 and 0, six, 0 should be here and 6 should be on the right side. Now we go here in the, in our left side. This is the program that will we'll compare the, L the numbers inside those elements. Okay, so we'll, we'll run this program here. We simulate this one. Asterisk array plus x minus 1 is the, the referencing of the pointer which will make us obtain the value inside the, the pointer. Okay, so 1 is currently at, x is currently equal to 1 and we subtract 1 there so it will be in element 0. And array plus x will be element 1. So if array plus x minus 1 the reference is equal to 5 and array plus x the reference is equal to 4 so we need to say this one is greater than this one so 5 is greater than 4 then we'll proceed to put array plus x minus 1 the reference to a holder variable called integer holder variable so this will just temporarily hold the value and then afterwards we assign the value of array plus x the reference which is currently 4 we assign this value to array plus x minus 1 the reference which is element 0 so 4 will go here and then we just need to copy the value inside the holder variable which is the previous value of array plus x minus 1 okay and we assign it to the next element which is element 1 so it means to say that 5 which is inside the holder variable will just need to go inside array plus x the reference so this is that one so we just need to continue this until the end we need to do some five iterations because for this next iteration 0 will just be here and for the second iteration 0 will be here the third the fourth and the fifth so as you can see we need at least uh, array length which is 7 minus 1 okay less than q so q should be less than the array length minus 1 so q if 7 is the array length we subtract 1 to it it becomes 6 so q should be less than 6 so it will be 5 so for iterations from 0 to 5 we'll, we'll move this smallest value from this position going to the first position or first element from 
from this sixth element to the first element. So that is how this will be implemented. Now, this one here, I already discussed. This is the outer loop. This one here, sort, and just and th and this is the name. Okay. We just need to put in the name sorted mean to max. It it requires the pointer to the specific array which contains the 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 data, and then the length of that array here. We need to do some. Uh, an, another file this is sorter.c we need to implement sorter.h which contains the pro function prototype this is the function prototype we need to copy this and put it inside sorter.h so this one here and then we just need to wrap it out in a if not defined defined statement here this is just a macro okay then afterwards we create this main.c in main.c this will run the program so I have here included the standard input output header and this one here sorter.h which contains the function prototypes. So we need to the, to include this one so that this the main program will know that we need to implement this function over here. So the first line in the main element main uh, function is the is the array which we define here the array of seven elements which which has the values six up to zero and then integer length will just define the size of this array and we put that we put we need this one later on and this one will just print the existing the existing values of the array which is not sorted and then with this one this line here will sort the value this is the function that I've I've shown you earlier. Afterwards, after it will be sorted, we just need to print out the results and then the function the software stops. Okay, now let's check out how it, this will be implemented. Okay, so I'll just run this one again. So first, uh, you just need to uh, compile this using GCC. Afterwards, we run the software, my sorter the same so here you can see here the existing value 654321 which is not sorted and uh, we sorted that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so we'll just do another one here let's say for example this one will be 90 and let's say this one will be 25 and this one will be 11 or 12 so you save this one and then we just need to run this one again compile it and run it so 90 is on the left 25 is in the middle 12 is somewhat in the right side when we sort this one out so here it goes so the the, the value the higher value is on the right and it's not it's just it it's get sorted out okay so that is just my algorithm for sorting out so i hope you enjoyed this video please so do subscribe to my channel for my upcoming videos so uh, please like and subscribe okay thank you and see you again in my next video bye